Merry Christmas, Uncle Dean, Danny Sluggett Vision Star. We would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas. You've been watching our videos over the last two or three years, and a lot of people message me and say they love Uncle Dean. A lot of people haven't met Uncle Dean, but they love Uncle Dean. And you're, you're very right to love Uncle Dean. He's a very lovable person. He's very cuddly. I'm on high, he, huh? 25p an hour, so. He, he's on high, 25p an hour. And if you love Uncle Dean as much as I do, then you can... You, you keep watching our films and we keep making them. This film is called Merry Christmas, Uncle Dean, Danny Socket Vision. We want to thank you for watching our films throughout the whole year. Yeah. And we want to ask Uncle Dean a question. Because it's Christmas, why is there a blanks on the wall? What's going on? This is an exclusive with Danny Sluggett Vision, an exclusive. Why has Uncle Dean made the walls bare? And it's Christmas time. So without further ado, here's Uncle Dean to tell us why the walls are bare. One, two, Uncle Dean. Walls are bare! Uncle Dean, why? One is waiting for Colchester Council employees, plumbers, to come in and put new radiators and boiler in and brick up the back fireplace and redo the central heating because it's more expensive to replace the back burner because it's completely gone and to do the whole thing. Put a flue through there and put all that in there in the cupboard in the wet room. That's amazing, that and, is amazing. And they asked me to move anything what might get damaged because they're not insured. So this is all part of change, basically? Yeah. And, yeah. and this is all of, of upgrading? Yeah, it will be, yeah. This yeah. is all upgrading. So, yeah. apart from that, is there anything you can tell our fans about Christmas, what to do, where to go and where to hang out? And give us one of the best Christmases from the past and what can we do to make this Christmas the best? Let me start. One of the best Christmases, Christmases from the past was every Christmas. Because I've made sure I've always had a great Christmas. Even in 2001, when I spent Christmas in prison. I was in HMP Norwich on Christmas Day and New Year's Eve. I was doing a year in prison for a car crash. And basically, I spent Christmas in prison. That could be one of the worst Christmases I ever had. But I don't think it was, because it made me appreciate my freedom and appreciate the fine line that we live on in life. And to not take the mickey out of life or the law or people and to appreciate every day and every night. So that was probably my worst Christmas in HMP Norwich, the year 2001. And the best Christmas was every other Christmas because I was free and I had my health and I had my freedom. Uncle Dean, what was your worst Christmas and what was your best and all that? Well, in my opinion, Christmas should be every day of the week, every day of the year, every month. That's what I think. Every day should be Christmas. It's just another day, isn't it? Yeah. So if you feel like you want Christmas every day, then why can't you? Yeah, because at the end of the That's day, a very really, good point. it's a facade with Christians to celebrate that one day. Yes. In the philosophy of Jesus, every day should be like that. In Not reality... Just, just on one day. In reality, it was like the Americans that made it like so, so um, opposite tradition. Yes, it's come away from its ethics. Yes, it's more like... Gains and finance. It's more like a gimmick. It's more like a gimmick yes, now. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's just another ploy to sell things. Exactly. And they give children presents and that, but they don't know nothing about... Why? They just know Father Christmas presents. They don't know nothing about Jesus Christ. They go, what am I getting for Christmas? What am I getting for Christmas? Well, yeah. let me tell you what you're getting for Christmas. You're getting Danny Sluggett, Vision, and Uncle Dean telling you the real meaning of Christmas, yeah. which is not to expect presents, but, no. to, but, but to see people you haven't seen and to love them. If you put, send in a stamp addressed envelope, we will send you an edition of the latest Bible. But ladies and gentlemen, just remember the real value of Christmas is not about give presents you give. It's about the love you give every day of your life. And just, if you haven't seen someone for a long time, then this is a really good month to get in touch with them, spend some time with them, and wish them all the love in the world, because that would be better than any present you could ever buy them. Just giving people time is the most precious gift that I think you can ever See, give. See, if you can do that for one day a year, you want to try doing it a bit more on just the one day, of course. every day. Well, that's what I do that's every day. That's of it. That's really. what, yeah, every day of my life, I treat people how I want to be treated. And sometimes... It's better to give and receive. Sometimes I get disappointed, but I don't let it stop me. I just believe in the good people like Uncle Dean that I've got around me, and we shine on. Abraham, where are you? Abraham is in the calf getting some coffee because he's got an addiction for caffeine. Abraham says... The real meaning of Christmas is what I just told he you. He is Christmas. He is Christmas. He's Santa. He is Christmas and Easter. Of course he is. He's, he's a legend. Actually, he's every bad holiday <laughs> and celebration, isn't he? He sure we is. We celebrate him, don't we? <laughs> we love Abraham. We do. Abraham is our Christmas. A bit too much, but he's good. So uh, <laughs> we just want to wish you a Merry Merry Christmas from me and Uncle Dean. And there'll be many more films to come. Uh, yeah. anywhere, uh, anywhere people can go over Christmas, any recommendations? Just stay at home with family and friends and... You know, just be be yourself and try to be, be better if you can. That's very nice advice. So I want to wish everybody 
Danny, Soviet Vision, and Uncle Dean, our fans, friends, can we just wish you all from me a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. And uh, Uncle Dean says shine on to you and all too, didn't you? We do. And uh, love and peace, Uncle Dean. Yeah. Um, let's get to work and, and fix this boiler. And Abraham, please return him. We, we love miss you. him. He's only in the kitchen getting some coffee. And Merry Christmas, everyone. And remember, please, don't expect presents. Expect respect, peace, love, unity. The biggest present and reward is another day of life. Of course. And please appreciate the real things in life, which is not money, which is not gimmicks. It's each other. Which is each other and love and taking thinking of each other. Merry Christmas, everyone, from me and Uncle Dean.